Welcome in Boneyard Garage. So here's the engine for the Bowens. And uh, you've seen my last video, or a couple videos ago. The uh, guy I bought this off, it took it all apart. He had the side cover off. And, you know, pretty much what you see. So I looked in there. It looks pretty good inside there. And uh, I made sure it was timed. Everything looked good. You just uh, put a new gasket on, bolt the cover back on. So I'm going to get this motor together and uh, see how it runs because I don't know nothing about it. There was a lot of carbon buildup all in here. Clean most of it. Still got a little more to do. There's the head. But the piston has like no slop at all. It's tight. But it don't look like this thing ever had an oil change since it was new. So I'm going to get a head gasket on here. Get the Tim's back on carburetor. And uh, see if we can fire it up. I fixed the coil. <clears throat> that I showed you guys in one of my last videos. I do have spark. Clean the points. I also took out the valve cover thing and clean that out so I'm going through my gaskets my brand new old stock gaskets here's the victim right here which you can tell I got a stack of them there's my new gasket so I'm gonna put that on and uh, stop putting it together I'm not gonna bore you with all the putting together but uh, we'll uh, check back in a couple couple times so, I'm going to get the head on and we got to Okay guys, so, new head gasket on, got the head on, talked it down, put the governor back on. So, uh, I'm going to get ready to put the carburetor on. There's the carburetor right here, so we're just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to pop the bowl off, take a look in there, and uh, see how bad it is. And uh, I'm going to repaint this whole engine if everything goes as planned. It's going to get repainted and put back on the bowlings, but right now I just want to hear it run. And I make sure I don't smoke where I might have to re-ring it or something like that. But I'm trying to save the new motor. I'm trying to put as little bit of time as money into it. Uh, even though I'm going to do a nice job on the tractor. So hopefully, hopefully it will start running good. No smoke, no knocking. So if that all happens, then we're probably going to take it all back apart again and paint it. But I just right, like I said, right now I want to hear it run. So I'm not even going to go crazy on the carburetor. I do have a rebuilt kit for it. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up, check out the bowl, and then we throw it on there. Let me get it apart and uh, we'll. Okay, so I took the carburetor apart. Surprisingly nice and clean. I probably could have put it on, it would have ran. But uh, we're gonna clean it up, get it back together, and Throw it on in. Okay, so we have the carburetor back on. And not putting and I put the shroud on. I'm not putting anything else on it because it's gonna come back apart anyway. To get painted and cleaned up. So I just put my fuel line on there. And I got my test bottle of gas, which will go right in that hose. And we're gonna put some oil in it. You can tell that. I need a new end, handle, new rope. So, like I said, it's all going to come back apart again. As far as the carburetor tins. <clears throat> so let's get some oil in it. And, uh... Go from there. I don't know if I'm going to start it tonight because it's kind of late. But I'll get it all ready for tomorrow. And we, uh, we'll try then.
We're using straight 30 in this. Non detergent. Should have had this ready. So yeah, I sure hope this thing runs good. I do got another four horse. Uh, I think it'd be kind of small. I think this is a seven. I'm not sure. Seven or eight. Or a six and a seven. I think someone said on my YouTube they thought it was a either a six or a seven. So you guys know, let me know. Okay. Okay, so we got oil in it. Right to the top. I don't know. I think we should try to start it. I think it's probably like 8 o'clock. It's not that late. But... Heck with it. I'm going to get you guys set up somewhere. Put the gas on there and we'll see what it does. Now, I'm going to put you guys. Over here. Bear with me. Okay. Got a spot plug in it. Got the wire. Fill up the carburetor. What's your bets, guys? As you can see, I didn't try to start it yet. I just put oil in it. That should be enough in there now. Take this out for now. These guys. I'm not even gonna. Strap it down, or bolt it down, clamp it down. I'm just gonna see what it does. Choke's on. Excuse me. And a half on the needle valve. Spark plug's a little too short for it. Oh, we're leaking gas. Float sticking a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna rebuild that anyway, but let's just see what happens. Come on. Trying to rush. Let me get 
gas leaking out. Sure, I still got spark. Yeah, yeah. I lose spark. Shows it there. Oh. I don't know if this button is any good. I know. Spark. That's not good. Oh well, that's it for tonight. We'll get back on it tomorrow. Okay, so we're back working on this engine for the Bolins. It's the next day. It's getting pretty late uh, last night, and I was rushing around to try to get it to start. But what happened is we lost fire. So uh, we're going to take the uh, the shroud and flywheel off. We'll get to those points again. And then I went digging through my uh, points, and I found a brand new. Brand new set. I got a couple new sets actually, so I'm gonna put them in there and then if it turns out that the motor's no good, I'll take them back out. So uh, I'm going to uh, get the camera set up and we'll be back. Okay, so I took the shroud off. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the screen off, the uh, clutch. Spacer. Okay, so now we're gonna get our uh, clutch tool and flywheel holder. This is for the older ones. Perfect. Flywheel holder. The ball bearings fell out. I think I'm gonna have to get a new ratchet. A new clutch, I mean. Someone, if you can see, Right here, someone tried to JB weld it. So I'm probably gonna have to get a new one in a couple of spots. So I'm gonna get that ball bearing back in there. Anyway, we'll get the ball bearing back in there and we'll try it. Okay, get that. Pop this flywheel off. Should have had my tools already. Wasn't planning on working on it tonight, but 
I got done what I had to get done, so not much anything else going on. Oops. I don't shake you guys too much. Cover off. Just things ain't going my way. I keep it up so you guys can see. I'll just pick it up this way, I guess. Hopefully, you can still see. Okay, so I'm gonna get these old points off and uh, I'll turn the camera back on when I'm ready to put the new ones on. Try not to make this video too long. Okay, so I took the points off and I also said I might as well change the plunger. There's my new one and my old one. And the plunger goes down, hits a crankshaft and rides on the cam of the crankshaft and opens and closes your points. So, if you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to, but the new plunger's on the left, the old one's on the right. Uh, if you look, let me turn it around. Look at the difference. It's about almost an eighth of an inch shorter. And if you look at the old one where it's been riding on the crank, see it in here but it's definitely worn so I got a new one we're gonna throw that in there put a new set of points in there and see what happens okay guys I'm gonna get the points in okay so we got new points in we do have spark let's see if I can hold this and pull it at the same time I don't know if you guys can see that we do got spark so I'm gonna bring it outside get it clamped on this bench and we're gonna throw, throw a little test tank on it and uh, let's try again see if we can get it fired up okay so I got it clamped down and I was thinking I need to get me uh, to make me make myself a engine test stand so I put the uh, little test bottle on there dripping a little bit out of the carburetor but I got a rebuild kit for that like I said before I just want to see if it's going to start so I get you guys set up like something like that hopefully that'll work okay hit choke first pull oh she wanted to go take it off choke Gotta fix that too. Come on, baby. She wanted to go. I think I gotta turn the idle up a little bit because I have no throttle hooked up. Bear with me. I didn't see too much smoke coming out of it, so that's good.
Got a little squealing from the clutch, but we know we gotta get a new clutch. pretty good I don't see no smoke you know it's just oil burning off the muffler so uh, I'm gonna adjust the carburetor a little bit I see it stopped leaking either that or I'm out of gas one or the other I gotta tie that up so let me get that tied up and we'll try it again does smoke a little bit but nothing I'm too concerned about also been you know sitting a long time so I think it's gonna be good runs good idles good carburetor is not dripping as much but I'm gonna rebuild it so at least I know it runs and uh, we'll go forward to using this original engine on the Bolins so the next step it's going to be taking the engine apart, getting it all painted. Now this is going to be the last video you guys are going to see until it's all done. Which may be not until uh, October, November, depending when I start slowing up. But I just wanted to get this motor running because the guy had it all apart. And I don't see no oil leaks. I got the gas tank and I got everything else so I'm going to try to soak that carburetor because I'm going to try to get the paint off it I don't like painted carburetors so I'm going to try my best to get that all cleaned up so a little better than last night okay guys that's it for now that's it on the bowlings until until it's all done, I'll be putting uh, the video together. I'm not going to do part one, part two. What I do is when I restore them, I take a little video, some pictures, and uh, I'll post the whole thing finished. That's the plan. But uh, look for some other videos in between. Uh, a little season robot right there. I do want to uh, get that tuned up, change the oil. I'll be cutting my grass for that hopefully this week. And uh, that's about it. Okay, guys, hope you like this video. It was kind of all over the place, but uh, we did get it running. I only worked on it a few minutes here and there. But uh, got it running. That's all that matters. Alright guys, have a good night. Have a good night.